coral bleaching is a big problem all over the world, but it turns out it's just a big misunderstanding. So it's like this, you're a coral. You're one of the simplest animals on Earth. You grow, you make this skeleton, you make the reef. But you need something else. You need something inside to help you make this reef, and that something inside, it turns out it's a crop of algae, single-celled algae. Catch the sunlight, they feed you and help you make this skeleton. So here's what you do for them. You give them a place to live. What they do for you is feed you. But it's kind of a gangster's promise because suppose the algae cheat and they decide not to feed you. So there's the problem. Here you are in alga. You're going to get evicted if you can't pay your rent. Well, suppose you can't pay your rent because it's too hot. Because the water temperature has gone up just a little too high for you to be able to produce enough food to give to the coral. You're not a cheater. You want to give that food to the coral. You just can't do it right now. It's just too hot. Well, the coral doesn't know that. As soon as you stop producing the food you're supposed to, the coral says, cheater, and kicks you out. Well, that's the misunderstanding caused by global warming because when the reef water gets too hot, hotter than usual, the algae can't produce. The coral think it's full of cheating algae and it kicks out not just some of the algae, but all the algae because it looks like all the algae are cheaters. And that's called a bleaching event because the entire reef is full of coral colonies that, that begin to look like this, white, because all the algae are gone. The corals, left without any tenants at all, is getting no rent, no food, no energy. The coral dies. It's happening more and more often all over the world as temperatures are inching, inching up. So why is global warming the culprit? I mean, water gets warm all the time in the sun. But what it's doing is it's making water temperatures more extreme. When they get hot, they get even hotter than usual. And that's what the corals can't really take. They can really take water that's only a couple degrees warmer than, than usual. But now what we're seeing are these huge swings in water temperature, and that's what the culprit is.